Well, welcome back to the channel. As you are watching this video today, with any luck, <laughs> I will be on a plane on the way to Scotland. I've been planning this trip for several months now, and I have uh, been sort of experimenting with how to pack and what to do and all of that. I've been watching the weather. My flights have changed a couple of times on me. I have an extended layover now in, in addition to the extended layovers I'd already planned. Um, so, you know, there may be some updates from the airport and such going on, but it'll be a couple of weeks at least before any videos from Scotland start showing up on this channel. But I wanted to take a minute to talk to you just a little bit about how I have packed for this trip. Uh, you will notice I do not have a large backpack camera bag. I am taking a four-day, three-night, four-day tour from Edinburgh to the Isle of Skye and back to Edinburgh with Rabbi's Tours. And the suitcase cannot weigh more than 30 pounds. And because we're going to be in a van rather than a bus and it could be full, I don't want to carry that huge backpack. So I have my Wandered Rome 9 liter, nine liter sling. And I want to take you through a little bit about how those things are packed. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is just take a brief look at the suitcase. So let me get it laid down here. And if I can remember where my zipper is. I packed this way once before for a trip to London when I first went on the uh, Photo 24 photo walk and it worked really well for me. And so I decided I would do it again. So on one side, well, before I go there, let me just tell you, after my Rome trip, I do have <laughs> the uh, Apple tracker and it's on. So every time I leave to go to work, about the time I get Oh, 15 miles or so up the road, it comes up on my phone saying, you've left your suitcase behind. Um, and so, yeah, I have. But on one side, I have mostly, if I can get it, let's try this again. There we go. If I can get it undone. I have mostly clothing. Now, I like to pack in packing cubes. And so I have this packing cube uh, all set up. It has underwear and t-shirts. That's all that's in here for the six days or seven days that I'll be traveling. So what I have done is I have pulled all of the old underwear and t-shirts that I am replacing and I've packed them. And as I go about my trip, they will get tossed. They're not coming home with me. They're going to get, they're going to get thrown away. I also have a series of old socks that I thought I would like, but don't like. They're comfortable. I don't like the green. I'm going to get rid of them. So I'm taking them tossed. So a lot of this side of the bag is going to be empty on the way home, um, which will make it much easier to carry. Now, I'm using a small low pro bag um, for all of my toiletries and uh, medicines and those kinds of things that's in here. And the one questionable item, because I'm, I'm still debating on whether I'm going to check this bag or not because of the extended layovers that I have, and probably I will wind up taking it with me rather than checking it. <clears throat> but the one thing that I have in here that I would be questioning about is my uh, 28 to 70 F2 RF lens. This is a $3,000 piece of equipment, and if it gets away from me, uh, I will be very, very distraught. The other things that I've packed are, I, I, I have, I, I won't pull it out, but I have three Henley shirts like this one. And, I, and I'm taking the Henley shirts because with a t-shirt and the Henley shirt, I should be fine through the day. Temperature's gonna be in the mid 50s, low to mid 50s, and I don't get that cold. I should be fine. And then I'll look, take a look at my coat here in a minute. but. The nice thing about it, like with this shirt, is because of the buttons at the top, I have a decent place to put my microphone when I video. So I have three of those. Those are coming back with me, by the way. 
that's one side of the bag. The other side of the bag uh, is a little looser um, as far as what's in here so far. So I have the, the outer Hawkland coat. Um, I, I did a video recently on the 7-in-1 Hawkland photographer's coat, and I have just the outer piece here. And the reason for that is um, it's only going to be cold at night, and we're not going to be out at night. Um, and so this is a, this is a full-length rain jacket, which will help defray the wind because of the hood and keep me dry, and I think it will work just fine. A couple of more Henley shirts. Uh, and in here, I have just a couple of things kind of hiding. I have the ring for my, uh, my 70 to 200 lens. I'm probably going to put this in the uh, wandered sling in there. Uh, I have a, a variable neutral density filter for my 15 to 35 lens and the, the lens hood for the 24, for the 70 to 200, along with, you know, chargers, things like that. All that in here. I have a couple of other things to load, including another pair of jeans that I'll take just in case. Um, and that is the suitcase. Packing as light as possible um, with the idea that it will be even lighter on the way home. Which brings us <laughs> to the wandered bag. Now this is, I've done a review on this before. You'll find that in my feed somewhere. I'm not gonna bother putting a video or a link to the video. But the wandered nine liter has turned out to be a favorite of mine. It's just absolutely awesome. Hang on just a second while I don't let this coffee get cold. And I have a new addition to the bag that just came in because it had been out of stock for so long. So I'll take you through all of that. I have the, um, I'm going to take this off so that as I move the bag around, it doesn't bounce around a lot. But um, I have the platter ball uh, ball head strapped to the outside. Again, I don't want to put it in here because if I lose my bag like I did in Rome, I put my tripod in my bag and the ball head in the bag. And so I spent the entire time in Rome without a tripod, which just totally destroyed most of what I was trying to do. So I'm not doing that again. So I have the ball head that will be strapped to the outside. And then on the uh, outer pocket out here, just this little tiny pocket, I have my uh, passport so it's easily available. And then inside the bag, I have it packed pretty tight. It's not really packed for carrying around, going out, doing photography. It's packed for the airline. So inside, I have my EOS R uh, without a lens. It has my L bracket already strapped to it. I have the um, 15 to 35, and then I also have my 70 to 200 without the lens hood. Those are in here. And then I have the intervalometer packed in here. I have an extra microphone packed in here. Uh, I have the new case filters, magnetic filters. I'll be doing a video on this uh, probably from Scotland talking about what they look like. And then all of my extra SD cards um, because I, I may choose to use one a different SD card every day and just have them available so I, I know where I'm at. And then there's a pocket inside here that you can't see very well, but my extra batteries slip in there. Um, and so all of that's inside the bag. And then what's new, if I can um, loosen this up and take the strap off, what's new is the laptop bag. Now this was supposed to have been, I mean, it was available when I first ordered the Rome and, and uh, I didn't order it. I, I decided I didn't need it. And then what I wound up doing walking through the airport with this bag is I was just always carrying my laptop with me um, and, and it just got to be old. So this is a very tight fitting case. Let me get it all undone here. And it has little um, felt pieces on the corners to hold it in place. It also operates as 
an ergonomic stand for the laptop so that I can use it that way. Um, but then when it all gets zipped back up again, there's padding inside, some felt type padding inside to keep it protected. It just goes down in this slot and you can see, maybe you can see if I turn it around the right way, let's turn around this way, that there is this piece at the bottom that comes out to hold the bottom of it. And then you saw me take the strap off the top. So it is secured in the bag. And that is the camera equipment that will be carried onto the plane with me because let's be honest. I've already learned from my trip to Rome that I can make it just fine without clothes. <laughs> clothes can be bought anywhere. They can be replaced. No problem. I can get by. If I get there and I don't have the camera equipment, I'm in trouble. Now, all of the landscape photography that I intend to do will probably be done with the 15 to 35 and the 70 to 200. I'm taking the 28 to 70 for interior photography um, and walking around Edinburgh. So at any given time that I'm out shooting, I will have my camera strapped to my belt using the uh, Peak Design uh, strap. So I'll have that outside the camera bag and I can have all three lenses in the bag to choose from or I can just put two in there and carry two around. Um, it, oh, and the other thing I forgot is that on the bottom down here, you can see I do have my travel tripod that's strapped in nice and tight, so it's not going anywhere. Um, and that, in a nutshell, is what I am taking with me. I plan to go very light. I don't want to carry a lot of equipment around with me. I want to be able to just take my camera out, shoot some pictures, set up a tripod really quickly, shoot some pictures. Now, the, the Peak Design travel tripod is not going to work for me in some locations. I, I'm already uh, committed to that. When I get up to the Isle of Skye around the, Kar the Kerrang and the Old Man of Storr, I fully suspect that this tripod will become relatively useless because of the wind. I will, I will find a way to make do. I'm, I'm willing to give that up to not have to carry a heavy tripod around with me on days I don't need it. Everywhere else that I go, this tripod should be just fine. So, uh, let me know in the comments what you would have taken if, you, if I'm missing something. Um, and uh, we will uh, we'll see you on the other side of the pond.